Hello everyone. In this lecture video, I am going to explain integrator and differentiator using op amp. Okay, this is what the circuit of integrator. Here, the series resistance will be R, and in the feedback path, we will be having a capacitor C, and the current flowing through the resistor will be I1, and current flowing through the capacitor will be treated as IF and we have connected the input VI to the, the inverting terminal of the op amp okay and this is how we are going to get the output waveform if we apply a square wave as input to the this integrate this will be the output wave and to get the expression for this V naught similarly as we did in inverting amplifier and non-inverting amplifier we need to consider these two currents and we need to get the expression for V0 first applying Kirchhoff law to node V1 for this V1 node the current flowing through the resistance R can be written as I1 is equal to VI minus V1 divided by R but what is V1? V1 is 0 since V2 is grounded because of virtual ground concept if V2 is 0 V1, the voltage at this particular node will be considered as 0. That's why the expression for I1 becomes VI divided by R. And now the current flowing through the capacitor. In this loop, the current flowing through the capacitor can be written as IF. IF is equal to the capacitor current in the sense the value of capacitance C into D V1 minus V0 divided by DT with respect to T. V1 minus V0 means the voltage across the capacitor is this V1 minus V0 D of V1 minus V0 divided by DT. C into D V1 minus V0 divided by DT is the current flowing through the capacitor. Here also V1 is 0 because of the virtual ground concept. V2 is grounded. That's why we can treat V1 as 0. To substitute, uh, if you substitute V1 as 0, it becomes minus C dV0 divided by dt. Now we need to equate these two. Expression I1 and IF expression we can equate. Why? Because the current flowing through this resistor will flow through the capacitor and current into the op amp is 0. So that whatever the amount of current flowing through the resistor will flow through capacitor. That's why we can equate I1 and IF. Equate I1 and IF here, V I divided by R is equal to minus C into DV0 divided by DT. So if we rearrange this expression by taking this DV0 by DT to left, it is minus V I divided by RC. Now we need to write the expression for V0. So uh, if we separate this V0, this derivative becomes integral if it takes to the right side. And here 1 by divided by RC is constant. That's why the expression for V0 is V0 is equal to minus 1 divided by RC integral VI into DT. This is what the expression for V0 of this integrator. Here V0 is equal to minus 1 divided by RC integral of VI. The output will be the integral of VI into DT. This is what the op amp integrator is. In the similar way, we can uh, go for differentiator. The output of this circuit is the differentiation of the input. Here the thing is, at the place of resistance in integrator, we are going to place capacitor and the feedback path will be provided with the resistance RF. Uh, this circuit will be a differentiator circuit. Here the charge present in this capacitor is equal to Q, it is equal to C into V. And with respect to uh, T, if we are going to differentiate that, the current I, I can be written as, the current flowing through the capacitor can be written as, I, I is equal to C dV I minus V1 divided by dt. But here again V1 is 0 because of the virtual ground concept, V2 is 0, we can treat V1 as 0, dVi by dt into C is the current flowing through the capacitor. The current flowing through the resistor which is in the feedback path, 
that is if if can be written as v1 minus v0 divided by rf since v1 is 0 the expression becomes minus v0 divided by rf now we need to equate these two since i1 and if are equal the expression c into dv i by dt and minus v0 divided by rf and if you rearrange this expression to get the expression for v0 it is minus rc dv0 divided by dt so that we get the expression for v0 that is equal to minus rc into dv0 vi divided by dt